Another huge problem for Hillary, a 16-year-old girl claims former President Bill Clinton is her father. Little Rock, a 16-year-old girl, has presented a paternity action lawsuit this morning, October 11th, before an Arkansas state court alleging that the former President of the United States, William Jefferson Clinton, is her biological father. Alisa Gilmore claims that her mother, a former secretary of the Oval Office named Whitney Gilmore, had an affair with President Clinton between 1998 and 2001. She says she was born out of that relationship and demands that Mr. Clinton undergoes a paternity test to prove that her story is true. Quote, I know Bill Clinton is my father, end quote, says the girl, adding, I have many pictures of my mother and him, and I know they were in love. He even gave me presents for Christmas and my birthdays when I was a kid before he left my mother. And I have spent many years writing him letters and calling him, hoping he would come back in my life. At first, he would write back and we spoke on the phone regularly, but he doesn't even answer anymore. I just want him to take his responsibilities and recognize that he's my father, that's all." End quote. So Whitney Gilmore does indeed appear on many official pictures of Bill Clinton, like the one of Independence Day Party July 4th, 2000, where she appears with President and his wife Hillary. Judge Henry Watkins of the Arkansas State Court rapidly decided that Ms. Gilmore had enough evidence to support her demand and announced that the presentation of the evidence will begin on March 19th. Bill Clinton wasn't present at the courthouse this morning in Little Rock, but he met the media less than an hour after the judge's decision in Washington. This is uh, more than, than true. I mean, the truth is really be bewildering here. This is actually taking place today. Bill Clinton denied having an affair with Ms. Gilmore or being the father of the teenage girl. He adds that the timing of the accusation suggests that they are intended to ruin his wife's chances in the run for the presidential elections in November. Obviously, Bill Clinton's sex life is damaging Hillary Clinton's campaign very badly. Well, returning to the article, quote, Whitney was indeed my secretary, and she has been a friend of both my wife and I for many years, end quote, says the former president, Bill Clinton, adding, I have worked with her for a few years, and I have met her daughter a few times, but we never had any sexual relationship, and I am not the father of Elisa Gilmore. This whole thing is just a diversion created by the Republican Party to ruin Hillary's chances in the run for presidency. I want to get this over with as soon as possible." End quote. So as Bill Clinton was making his declarations, he appeared extremely irate, even angry, when he met the media this morning in Washington. This is not the first time that Bill Clinton is involved in an adultery-related scandal. The most famous case is, of course, when he admitted to having had what he called an inappropriate relationship with Monica Lewinsky while she was working at the White House in 1995 and 1996. There were also many other women who claimed over the years that they had affairs with Mr. Clinton or that they were victims of sexual misbehavior on his part. These include Jennifer Flowers, Paula Jones, Juanita Brodick, Kathleen Willey, Elizabeth Ward, Ward Grayson, and Dolly Kyle Browning. Some of these women were at the second debate front row, and Donald Trump did mention their plight against Bill Clinton. Now, uh, going on with the article, many political experts believe that no matter how this court case ends, this new court case has reminded the population, the American people, of the Clinton couple's particular relationship and story. They think it could therefore certainly have a very negative impact on Hillary's chances of being the presidential candidate of the Democratic Party for the next presidential election. This is on State of the Nation. I'll leave a link below for you for this.